Since its inception in 1965, Mr. Olympia has seen a remarkable evolution, with each champion leaving an unmatched mark on the sport. Evolution 1.0 Legends Larry Scott Larry Scott secured his place in history by achieving the inaugural Mr. Olympia champion title in 1965 and 1966. His strikingly aesthetic physique and flawless posing routines earned him victories and established a benchmark for future generations of bodybuilders. Scott's triumphs showcase that bodybuilding transcends physical strength. It's an art form in which the body becomes the canvas. Famously known as the Golden Boy, Larry Scott emerged as the pioneer among Mr. Olympia winners, taking the crown in the initial Olympia contest on the night of 1965. Uh-oh, here we come now. Larry Scott, now right here, when he pauses, right there and he pauses and looks, that's because the noise level was just, just beyond comprehension. Just unbelievable and successfully defending it in 1966. After his back-to-back -back wins, he gracefully retired from the competitive arena. Scott's legacy extends beyond his victories. He's renowned for his colossal arms and popularizing the preacher curl exercise, a move so closely associated with him that it became colloquially known as Scott Curls, Sergio Oliva Sergio. The myth Oliva emerged as a dominant force in bodybuilding, getting the Mr. Olympia title three times consecutively from 1967 to 1969. Endowed with remarkable genetics and a distinctive posing style, Oliva displayed immense size, impeccable proportions, and a captivating stage presence, cementing his legacy as one of the greatest bodybuilders ever. Hailing from Cuba, Oliva earned the nickname The Myth and shared the stage with Arnold Schwarzenegger on multiple occasions. While he faced no contenders in 1968 the following year, he went head-to-head -head with a young Schwarzenegger, ultimately emerging victorious. Alongside his illustrious bodybuilding career, Oliva served as a Chicago police officer for over 25 years. When he was at his peak, he was unbelievable. I remember one day we met in Chicago and I invited him to a very sophisticated restaurant. And, she, and he had to wear a shirt and a tie, and sure enough, Sergey came in with his tank top and with his medals in front of him. And I thought it was going to throw all of us out, but not Sergio. And they looked at him, the matron didn't say a word. The place was quiet. They just stared and stared at him. Arnold Schwarzenegger. Arnold Schwarzenegger's journey to becoming a seven-time Mr. Olympia champion began in the 1970s. His unparalleled charisma, larger-than-life personality, and unmatched work ethic propelled him to the pinnacle of the sport. Arnold's victories showcased his exceptional physique and ability to connect with the audience like no other bodybuilder before him. Many people widely recognize Arnold Schwarzenegger as one of the most prominent winners of the Mr. Olympia title. He dominated the early to mid-1970 ECS with powerful performances and a rigorous training regimen. His appearance in the 1975 documentary Pumping Iron marked his retirement from competitive bodybuilding. However, Schwarzenegger's story didn't end there. He surprised the bodybuilding community by returning from retirement to compete in the 1980 Olympia contest. Motivated by his preparations for the role of Conan the Barbarian, during which he was building muscle, Schwarzenegger felt confident in his ability to compete again. Keeping his participation a secret, he announced his entry. Man. Franco Colombo was not just a fellow bodybuilder, but the closest confidant and training mate of Arnold Schwarzenegger, the seven-time Mr. Olympia champion. Their bond was forged in bodybuilding when they met as young competitors, and it grew stronger as they became training partners. After Colombo's victory in 1976, he ventured into a new arena, participating in the inaugural World's Strongest Man competition. Unfortunately, an injury struck him, significantly damaging his aspirations. However, displaying remarkable resilience, Columbus returned to the bodybuilding stage in 1981 with another victory. Shortly after this triumph, he retired, leaving a legacy of strength, friendship, and perseverance. Frank Zane. The 1980s witnessed the rise of champions like Frank Zane, who claimed the Mr. Olympia title extraordinarily from 1977 to 1979. Zane's dedication to symmetry and proportion distinguished him from his peers, securing his enduring legacy in the annals of bodybuilding history. Frank Zane is renowned for possessing one of the most remarkable physiques in bodybuilding history. His V-taper and conditioning were legendary, a testament to his meticulous attention to symmetry and proportion. This emphasis on aesthetics over sheer mass marked a shift in the sport. Zane's achievements included defeating Schwarzenegger, 
and notably he secured his Olympia titles while weighing under 200 pounds, affectionately dubbed the chemist. Zane's nickname was inspired by his methodical approach and academic background. Holding a science degree from Wilkes University, his success in sculpting his physique resulted from his unwavering dedication and sharp focus on perfection. Chris Dickerson. In 1982, Chris Dickerson etched his name as the first African American to claim the title of Mr. Olympia. His win represented a groundbreaking moment in bodybuilding, highlighting the sport's embrace of diversity and inclusion. Chris Dickerson stands among the select few Olympia champions to have secured victory only once, yet his bodybuilding career spans an impressive 30 years marked by numerous accolades. Notably, he is the first openly gay Mr. Olympia winner, embodying a blend of heavy muscle and aesthetic appeal. Beyond bodybuilding, Dickerson found success as a model, further showcasing his versatility and talent. Samir Benout, the Lion of Lebanon, Samir Benout, achieved a unique feat by winning the Mr. Olympia title just once. However, his victory holds significant historical value as he became the first Middle Eastern bodybuilder to claim this prestigious title. Remarkably, Ban Out's inaugural professional win came at the 1983 Mr. Olympia competition, marking the beginning of a successful career that spanned several decades. Lee Haney The late 1980s and early 1990s marked the era of Lee Haney's dominance, as he established a new standard by winning eight consecutive Mr. Olympia titles from 1984 to 1991. Haney's exceptional combination of size, symmetry, and conditioning rendered him virtually unbeatable on the Olympia stage. As far as Mike Christian is concerned, Mike is sometime, he's wishy-washy. Sometimes he's a killer, next minute he's a pussycat. And he'll be a pussycat in Italy when I wipe him out. Come on, boy, you train a lot harder than that to beat me. Yeah, just for you, Mike, yeah, just for you. A lot harder, a lot heavier for me, you. boy. Just yeah. enough to blow you away the next three years. I'll see you in Italy in 89. Me right. and you, nobody else solidifying his position as one of the greatest bodybuilders in history. Lee Haney defined his reign with his imposing physical stature, genetics, and unique training approach, propelling him to secure eight consecutive titles, a feat matched only by fellow Olympia Ronnie Coleman. With each successive victory, Haney emphasized the power of the mind, recognizing its crucial role in keeping him grounded and preventing success from becoming his downfall. However, his remarkable reign ended with the emergence of a young Dorian Yates. In addition to his achievements in bodybuilding, Lee Haney's influence reached into public service when former President Bill Clinton appointed him as the chairman of the President's Council about physical fitness and sports. The era when Lee Haney and Dorian Yates competed against each other marked a milestone when Dorian Yates stepped onto a new level. He honed his body to become massive with an incredible back and impressive arms, signifying a significant transformation in the bodybuilding landscape. Evolution 2.0 Monsters Dorian Yates The bodybuilding world experienced a seismic shift in the early 1990s with the emergence of Dorian Yates. Known as the Shadow, Yates's remarkable mass and conditioning revolutionized the sport, securing six times Mr. Olympia titles from 1992 to 1997. His rigorous training methods and unwavering dedication established a new benchmark for bodybuilders worldwide. Dorian Yates, also called The Shadow, is one of the greatest bodybuilders in history, boasting the fifth highest number of wins. He is recognized as one of the original mass monsters, prioritizing maximum muscle stimulation in the shortest time possible through high-intensity training. This approach propelled Yates to victory at the Olympia from 1992 to 1997. Ronnie Coleman After Dorian Yates retired, Ronnie Coleman emerged as the next dominant force in bodybuilding. With his unprecedented size, incredible muscularity, and unmatched work ethic, Coleman secured the Mr. Olympia title eight times from 1998 to 2005. His reign solidified his status as one of the greatest bodybuilders ever and inspired a new generation of athletes. When Ronnie Coleman burst onto the scene in 1998, no one anticipated the remarkable eight-year run that followed. Coleman's journey began as a police officer. Still, his path shifted when Brian Dobson, owner of Metroflex Gym, offered him a free membership in exchange for training Coleman for bodybuilding competitions. From there, Coleman's winning streak continued year after year until 2006, when Jay Cutler claimed the title. Coleman held the record for the most IFBB wins, totaling 26, for an extended period until Dexter Jackson surpassed it. All these guys sitting, sitting around here talking about what they're going to do. Hey, this is a show. Uh, talk is cheap. You want to do something? Hey, we can do something right now. Hey, it's a hell Let's of an idea. Let's see something right uh, now. Gunther, Gunther, Gunther talking all that 
Gunther talking all that noise about him being 300 pounds. Hell, I'm 300 pounds too. What you want to do? Who wants to see a pose down right here, right now? This is why they call Ronnie Coleman King Ronnie. When challenged by the legendary German giant Gunter Schlierkamp right before the Olympia, Coleman only had one thing to say. I'm 300 pounds too. What you want to do? Complete confidence and absolute mastery paved from thousands of hours of pure dedication in the gym. Jay Cutler, born on August 3rd, 1973 in Sterling, Massachusetts, rose to prominence as a formidable figure in bodybuilding. His journey began in his teenage years, driven by a passion for fitness that eventually led him to pursue bodybuilding seriously. Starting his professional career in 1996, Cutler swiftly climbed the ranks of the sport, showcasing his exceptional physique and competitive spirit. Cutler's breakthrough came in 2006 when he claimed the prestigious Mr. Olympia title, dethroning the reigning champion Ronnie Coleman. This victory propelled Cutler into the spotlight, solidifying his reputation as one of the premier bodybuilders of his time. In 2007, he successfully defended his Mr. Olympia title, establishing himself as a dominant force in the sport. Facing the seemingly impossible challenge of defeating Ronnie Coleman, Jay Cutler embraced the task and ultimately emerged victorious. His 2009 win made him the third Olympian to secure victories in non-consecutive years. Cutler's success extended beyond the stage as he graced magazine covers and ventured into entrepreneurship with Cutler Nutrition, a bodybuilding supplements business. Dexter Jackson Dexter, The Blade. Jackson dominated the 2008 Olympia contest after a stellar year, securing victories at the Arnold Classic and Australian Pro Grand Prix the 8th, among others. With 20 Mr. Olympia contests under his belt, he is the sole bodybuilder to claim the overall title at both Mr. Olympia and Masters Olympia. Additionally, Jackson launched his bodybuilding competition, the Dexter Classic, in 2009. After Phil Heath dethroned the reigning champions at the end of the 2010 S, he marked a new era for modern bodybuilders by engaging in a monumental battle with Kai Green, a showdown between giants. Evolution 2.0 Freaks Phil Heath, Phil Heath, born on December 18, 1979 in Seattle, Washington, emerged as a towering presence in bodybuilding. His crowning achievement came in 2011 when he captured the prestigious Mr. Olympia title, marking the beginning of his unprecedented reign as one of the sport's elite athletes. Over the next seven years, from 2011 to 2017, Heath dominated the Mr. Olympia stage, defending his title with unrivaled determination and skill. After consistently placing in the top five from 2008 to 2010, Phil Heath relentlessly pursued the Mr. Olympia title. In 2011, his perseverance paid off as he claimed the crown, leaving Kai Green as the runner-up king after finishing second three times in Phil's era. His winning streak continued for the next six years, cementing his reputation as one of the most muscular men on the planet and one of the most beloved Mr. Olympia winners. This remarkable achievement tied him with Schwarzenegger for the second most Olympia wins of all time. Sean Roden Sean Roden was the oldest bodybuilder to win Mr. Olympia at 43. For several years, he consistently ranked in the top five. His breakthrough moment arrived in 2018 when he dethroned Heath and claimed the coveted title for himself. Roden's journey from aspiring soccer player to Mr. Olympia marked a fulfilling career in bodybuilding. However, tragically, Roden passed away in late 2021. Ryap P, let's take a moment to commemorate his death. Brandon Curry, health and fitness have always been integral to Brandon Curry's life. Initially a football player, he shifted his focus to bodybuilding and started competing in shows. In 2019, he achieved a significant milestone by winning both the Arnold Classic and Mr. Olympia titles, etching his name into the history books of the Olympia competition. Despite his robust and muscular physique, his victory came as a surprise to some. Mamdu Elsbia, Mamdu Elsbia, widely recognized as Big Rami, obtained his IFBB Pro card three years after beginning his training journey. He won his pro debut at the New York Pro in 2013. Over time, he steadily improved his Olympia rankings, eventually partnering with bodybuilding legend Dennis James to revamp his training regimen. His dedication paid off with the top spot at the 2020 Olympia, a feat he repeated in 2021. However, his title was stripped in 2022 by Hadi Chupan. Hadi Chupan Hadi Chupan emerged victorious at the 2022 Mr. Olympia, 
earning him the title of the most recent Mr. Olympia winner. Over the past few years, he consistently placed in the top five. Chupan's transition from the men's 2-1-2 class to the men's open division demonstrated that size isn't the sole factor in competing for the Mr. Olympia title. Despite not being the most significant competitor on stage, Hadi's conditioning and symmetry were unparalleled, ultimately securing him the coveted Mr. Olympia title. He proudly represents Iran and dedicates his gold medal to all the women in Iran who are enduring the ongoing protests. Derek Lunsford, Derek Lunsford claimed the title of the 2023 Mr. Olympia, marking a historic achievement as the first professional bodybuilder to win two Olympia divisions. Before this, he secured victory as the 2021 Olympia winner in the 2-1-2 division, making him the 18th Mr. Olympia title holder. Lunsford's journey took an exciting turn when he received a special invitation to compete in the men's open class at the 2022 Olympia where he placed second, narrowly behind Hadi Chupan. However, his recent win officially dethroned the Persian Wolf. The first place check for $600,000. The Olympia gold medal. The Sandow. Samson, the winner! Good job, Samson. Hailing from Nigeria and now settled in the United Kingdom, Samson Dauda stands as a testament to bodybuilding's global allure. His journey began unexpectedly. While playing rugby, his teammates often marveled at his physique, suggesting he should compete in bodybuilding. Initially hesitant, a conversation with gym owner Chris Jones and witnessing Phil Heath's victory at the 2013 Olympia sealed his decision to embrace the sport. By April 2014, Samson had made his debut participating in a local beginner competition. A promoter approached him with an invitation to compete in the main event later that day. He recalled the conversation where the man told him, I think you can win this class. To which Samson responded in disbelief, Are you out of your mind? And the promoter was right. This victory marked the beginning of a promising career. His achievements over the years are noteworthy. In 2022, he made his debut at the Olympia, marking a significant milestone. His track record boasts impressive placements in prestigious events like the IFBB Pro League Olympia, Boston Pro, and Arnold Classic USA Pro, among others. Today, Samson is regarded as a potential Mr. Olympia contender with an ever-growing fan base. Samson Douda's approach to training is a testament to his dedication and commitment to bodybuilding. Embracing a high-volume methodology, he meticulously isolates muscle groups to ensure comprehensive development. Each session, though concise, is intense, pushing his body to its limits. For instance, his leg routines, while consisting of a few exercises, are designed for maximum impact. He emphasizes high repetitions, ensuring every muscle fiber is engaged. His back workouts mirror this intensity, combining traditional exercises with innovative techniques to achieve a chiseled, defined look. Beyond the exercises, Samson's focus on form and technique ensures he gets the most out of each movement. His training regimen, marked by its rigor and precision, has been instrumental in sculpting his impressive physique, making him a standout in the competitive world of bodybuilding. To maintain his formidable physique, Samson consumes a mix of high-quality proteins, complex carbohydrates, and essential fats. His off-season diet, designed to bulk and build muscle, includes staples like rolled oats, steak, chicken, and sweet potatoes. He also integrates supplements, such as whey protein isolate and essential amino acids, to optimize muscle recovery and growth. During his prep phase, his caloric intake is more controlled, focusing on lean proteins and measured carbohydrates. Every meal is strategically timed, ensuring his body receives the right nutrients at the right moments. This meticulous approach to nutrition underpins Samson's success, fueling his body for peak performance. Beyond the gym and the stage, Samson's life is enriched by his wife, Marlenka. She is not only his pillar of support, but also an integral part of his nutritional journey, often preparing meals that align with his bodybuilding goals. Together, they share a dream. Their bond is further strengthened by their pet dog, Cerberus, 